So today's video, uh, we are going to be cutting out the pockets and mounting up the plates. Well, they call these cups, uh, Chevy cups. So these go actually up inside here, and then this thing welds to the top. Well, it doesn't weld to the top, it bolts to the top of the airbag. Uh, I apologize for not being able to get this all in a video last week. Mostly because uh, it was a long video doing the bottom plates. So if you didn't see that video, you can look down the link that's below above and get that uh, video there as well. So what we're going to show you guys how to do today is to cut this section out here, get it fitted up, and then we're going to take this piece, which I've already welded the bolt onto the plate, which is pretty self-explanatory. You just want to make sure that it's as level as possible. And that's going to go up like that. And then this has to be offset just a little bit. But what we need to do is we need to put it up inside there to get it fitted and tighten down. And then I'll tack weld it a couple places. Then I'll pull it back out and then I'll do the finish weld like this one. It's all welded as one piece. Okay? So that's going to be today's video. And then hopefully by the end of the day we should have the front uh, going up and down all by itself. I've already got the wires plugged to the back. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. So I took you over here to the other side. I want to show you what needs to be done. So uh, basically on this other side, I've cut it out. Here's our airline coming out. I've cut it out so that this pocket, well, I shouldn't say it's a pocket. They're called cups. So when you're looking for them online, that's what you're looking for. This goes up into there, and then it just, it sits kind of like this, but it goes up a little bit higher. It kind of comes through that hole right there. So that's what we got to do. I got to get everything fitted and then the airbag goes here on the bottom and then this plate goes on top like that and then that's kind of what gives us our thing. So what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to take you over to the other side and we're going to cut this piece out right here because every Chevy, if you're using the stock subframe, you have to cut this out to get your bag up because when you pancake out, when this goes all the way flat, that bag has to have somewhere for that to go. So let's take you over here to the other side and we'll get... So we basically got everything kind of cut out and fitted into place. Now there's these little claws that come out from the inside of the frame and that cup has to slide up. So the claws come like this and then the cup has to come up and slide over the top of it like that. So it has to be fitted up just right. And now that it is, I can see that I want to cut this just a little bit more right here. So it's kind of this optical illusion. It looks like there's not as much cut here as there is here, but that's not my concern. My concern is to make sure that this is flat and I can see the part of the plate here, but on this side I can't. So what I want to do is I want to cut it some more so that I can see the top plate of that uh, bag mount there. So I'm just going to kind of go like this and just trim it just a little bit more. This side I'm not going to worry about, but this side I'm going to cut just a little bit more. And I'll lower this back down. And what I did is I fit the bolt in the bottom so that the bag actually is, you know, positioned, but it's just loose because this has to go right up in this mounting plate. So, I mean, there's a lot to think about as you're trying to put that in there. So I got the bolt in there so I can kind of turn that around and fit it like I need to. But you can see how this sits like that, but it has to go up a little bit higher. So I just want to trim that far off. So I'm going to do that. So that looks a lot better. You can see how we can see most of this plate, but over here, it's still pretty tight right here. I mean, I got enough clearance, but on this side, I have a lot more, and I would just feel a lot more comfortable over here, especially if the frame's going side to side. I want as much clearance as I can actually afford. This one I cut a lot more off of, but this right here looks pretty level, so I think I'll, I'll be okay with that. I got the cup centered where it needs to be. So I'm gonna trim this side off right here a little bit, and then I'll just come back in just a couple minutes. So there it is. I trimmed this off quite a bit more. Got a lot more clearance, and obviously on this side, and the plate is level with the bag. Now the biggest concern on these is to make sure that this plate and this plate are as level or as parallel as possible. Now the frame itself, if you get back and look at the frame, it looks like this side's cut out more than this side. But that's not a concern. What's the most important is to make sure that this bag 
is completely parallel to the control arm which if you stand back here it is so don't worry about cutting off too much on this side and not enough on this side that's what you're looking for because you can see this plate is completely level with the bag which is level with this bottom bracket okay so now i'm going to tack weld this in i'm going to bring a little spot welder up here tack weld it in and then pull it all back out and finish welding it so here we have it i got it fitted up into place like i said it has to be kind of offset just a little bit um, each one will be depending on how you got this bolt positioned so it just takes some finagling and trying to figure out how to, how to get it lined up but i got it spot welded in now i'm just going to kind of go through it and kind of finish welding it and then we're going to put it up now when i first started this i thought this had to be right in the center but it won't it won't work if it's right in the center they got to be offset just a little bit now if i was to order this kit i probably wouldn't order the fabricator series i would order the cool ride kit which they're already set up and and they have a little bit of a plate that goes on the bottom so you don't have to do what we did on the bottom and this is already all welded and ready to go but it's a lot more expensive that kit's like 400 bucks with the bag this kit cost me 60 bucks so all just depends on how much money you want to spend i'm gonna go ahead and finish welding this up and then i'll come back over and we'll show you what it looks like uh, mounted up this is the test fit see how it fits okay looks nice and level just like it needs to be i put the bolt on and bolted it all back up okay so we got it all mounted in there got it all bolted up ready to go so i'm just going to do a little test before i put the spindle and the upper control arm on just to kind of see how it does i'm filling it up with air right now now i've got a regulator on here so it's not allowing so much pressure in it that's only about 40 psi but it works good you got good strong support and then i'll lower it down Let's try that again. You start seeing it fill up with air. And there it goes. So it works good. All right, completely laid out. I'm gonna put the spindle back together and that'll be it. Okay, so this side's all done. We franched out that pocket and got the uh, plate built. So we did, a, did this in two videos. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other side together and get them both aired up. Now I've already got bags in the back. I'm gonna make a little distribution block there in the back so we can get the whole thing off the ground and then we'll bring the body back in, fit the body, and then we're gonna do the Z-notch in the front where we cut the bottom part to lower down that core support. So that'll probably be next week's video. So please rate, subscribe, and comment. And it looks like my wife is calling me on the phone, so I gotta go. We'll talk to you later.